I'm going to add maple syrup to my coffee. One day at a time. That's the only way. One day at a time. So day 31, we're not going to move a pizza? <laughs> so I realized that carrots are also bloating me. We'll see if we can complete the, the 30 days. No, she's preparing herself to be like... But, yeah. Context clues, guys. <laughs> <laughs> she's like cheating. We didn't know what we were getting ourselves into. This morning, I was feeling like I really wanted some coffee, but I didn't want to make it in the same way that I've been doing it, blending it. I was really contemplating taking off the rule of no sweetener additives. It's still going through, but just doing that specifically for my coffee. Instead, I didn't have my coffee. I just had one of my mango popsicles that I made. We'll see how strong I am. Maybe tomorrow I'll want to do some maple syrup or something on my coffee. As of today, I was strong and I didn't do it. That's the update for now. Some almond butter, got my dates and some pecans on it. Don't mind the ugly container. Let's try it. I'm going to add maple syrup to my coffee. It's too much of a hassle to be blending dates all the time. I'm gonna make an exception. I'll add maple syrup. Ingredients is just maple syrup. I know it, it's a sweetener additive, but I just need something easier. I don't think that sugar is what's affecting my stomach issues. So I'm gonna add it and I still won't add it to any other types of foods or anything like that. It'll just be an exception specifically for my coffee in the morning. So we'll see how it tastes now. Judge me for it. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. I added instant coffee, water, almond milk, cinnamon powder, and um, maple syrup. Just a bit. I didn't measure it. It's not as sweet as I normally would make it, but I think this is. I think this is good enough in sweetness now. I probably would have made it a lot, a lot more sweeter. You should try I it. I should have been like a secret recorder for your video so I could be like, this is how miserable she is every day drinking her regular mm. coffee. But I recorded exactly how much maple syrup I added into it. So I won't do any edits on that thing. I'll tell you guys if she's lying. Now it tastes like your other coffees. Kind of tastes like your old coffee. You also haven't been doing sugar. So maybe our, our sugar stuff is just like heightened. It literally you know? tastes like your coffee from before this challenge. That's a lie. Yes, it does. <laughs> what did you add in there? I have a feeling you added something you're supposed to add in there. I just added maple syrup. <laughs> I would be cheating myself, okay? Cool. I'm done. <laughs> I want a pizza. <laughs> Me too. We were used to getting Pineapple. getting pizza at night. If you've seen my other videos, you would have seen that we would get pizza at night or we would just watch watch an episode of a show. It was a nice time. It was a yummy nice time. But yeah, I think I think this is good. This will help keep me good. And when we were in Orange County, the last day that we were there, I didn't know what to eat. And I think it was just like a mental block for me. Like there was stuff that I could have eaten. I was kind of over it. And so I ended up not eating anything. And then that ended up accumulating a lot of gas in my stomach. And it was very uncomfortable for like the next two days. So that's a lesson to make sure when you're hungry, you just still eat, even if it's a freaking potato, a baked potato potato with olive oil and salt and pepper, but you need to eat something because you'll get air in your stomach maybe. So I learned my lesson on that. We'll continue with Whole30. Today is day 16, I think. So I don't know if you guys consider this no longer Whole30, but for me, I'd rather still try to be healthier, even though I have this maple syrup in my coffee now from now on. It's gonna help you make it to the rest of the Yes, day. it'll help me make it. And even though it's something that's excluded, which I don't even really understand why it's excluded to begin with, if it's like just maple syrup. Cause my coffee, I need my coffee in the morning and I can't be blending every single day. And then it doesn't taste as good either. 
and I just get like in this horrible mood. So maybe I am addicted, but. Yes, you are addicted. <laughs> you are addicted. But it's okay. I'm making this exception. So we're really craving pizza, burgers. What are your thoughts? You don't know your why? My point is basically to know what is what affects my stomach. I just wanted to cut it down and I was expecting to lose some drastic weight. I don't know, I do have this fog. I, I think if I have a pizza, it's gonna go out. All my <laughs> fog is gonna go out. You have a mental fog, but maybe that's your, your uh, detox. I'm not craving. I feel like if I was doing really, like if I was, um, I can't think. <laughs> <laughs> Full on like meals is what you're missing of pizza and burgers. I think but it's not just a craving. Wise. No, am I being stupid? Like I just need to let myself have a burger and that's it. And I just need to continue eating. Like The main thing is the feeling that we were getting every single time we would, we would eat something bad. That's true, I forgot about that. Yeah, we would feel like grossed out at the end. So there was certain foods that we were like not getting anymore just because of that feeling that we would get after. Or like gross out. For you, Wingstop, oh, yeah. for a good while, well, you don't normally like in and out but for a good while you were like, yeah, I'm not gonna get that anymore because the burgers make me feel weird after. I know Wingstop for sure, you're definitely right. Like it would feel like, maybe it's a psychological thing, but it can be because it's literally bad for you. For me, I feel like I wouldn't feel grossed out after those meals, but they would make me bloated and feel super drained during like the day. So it wasn't helping my energy. And I feel like ever since we started this, I do have more energy. So those are the benefits. Maybe this is helping to talk out our why. What are my benefits? Your benefits really is you haven't been eating been. food that makes you feel gross after. You feel good after the food you eat. Yeah. How, are you getting more energy? You, you feel the same energy way? Have you been sleeping better? That's the other thing. I don't know if I would say it's up in my sleep. I'll say this, I do think I'm sleeping with more ease. I have to be because I'm not complaining or I'm not noticing. So that's you know? our why. Are you still craving pizza? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I'm not really lim- I'm not on Whole30. I'm just trying to eat clean. That's what I'm trying to do. But like a whole pizza, that's definitely not good. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say that definitely sounds really good. I mean, it sounds oh. fucking good. Oh my god. Pizza with pepperoni and pineapple and jalapeno. What if we make a pizza? No, I can't have any like flour type. Never for the rest of your life? For whole 30. But what are we gonna do after this? We're just gonna eat healthier. So day 31, what? We're supposed to introduce things slowly. So day 31, we're not gonna make pizza? <laughs> It's because with pizza, I would be introducing so many new things at one time. I feel like a burger might even be like an easier transition. What? <laughs> we'll get through it. We'll see if we continue on with our Whole30 journey. I'm gonna make some ranch. We're using this mayo for the first time ever. It smells like regular mayo. It tastes like regular mayo. It tastes it tastes like the the Mexican mayo with the lemon. It, it tastes really good. I wouldn't mind eating this mayo as a complete replacement. Wow, it's the first one that actually convinces me fully. The ketchup tasted a little funky. This one's good. If you like the the mayo that has lemon in it, I think it's McCormick. This is good. So let's see how the ranch turns out though. We're just winging it since we can't use heavy cream or other stuff, so I just don't have much to do. So let's try it. So just a little bit. See. I think it's a good replacement. Think about it with wings. It's a good replacement, right? <laughs> I think it's a good replacement. I think it's a lot of lemon and the taste of that mayo is pretty pungent. So if you like the mayo that has lemon, then this is a good choice for you. If you don't, then I would say maybe stay away from it because that is what it tastes like. I mean, if you're completely being like clean and you can't have ranch whatsoever, then yeah, I think it's fine. Because we tried looking for bottles and we just couldn't find it. So 
I realized that carrots are also bloating me. I'm going to cut down on them and see how that goes, but I'm gonna go for a walk to see if I can get the bloat out because if not, at night I'm not gonna feel comfortable, so. because you went cold turkey i want to eat already something like a pizza because during the week you were better for yeah. a longer time we'll see we'll see if we can complete the the 30 days no, she's preparing herself to be like but yeah context clues guys you, <laughs> you didn't let me finish my sentence but i don't know if i'm going to complete it because I feel like already I I know a bunch you're gonna spit out the water. I feel like I already know a lot of the things that were co were causing my stomach issues. I didn't even realize like carrots, potatoes, onions, I kind of knew. We'll see if we can. Every single day we're like, doesn't a pizza from Pizza Hut sound good? Or doesn't burgers from Hodad sound good? That's the problem also. We've spent a lot of time thinking about food that it's kind of hard to focus at times. I wouldn't say it's thinking about food. I would say it's like thinking about quitting. Uh, oh my God, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trying to get the stand out. I'm counting the days, and, and I'm not good with remembering numbers, so. Forget. We need to go until the 24th. It's currently the 10th. Okay, the 24th of July. So we got like, four, we got 14 more days. 13, 14 more days. Dang, that's two more whole weekends of being good. We'll see how it goes. We're craving pizza and burgers. Basically on my mind 24 seven. <laughs> I want a pizza too. Oh. Day 17. We'll see how we feel tomorrow. One day at a time. That's the only way. One day at a time. It's ready. Okay. It might have been a fail. Who knows? Looks like dog food. Try this dog food looking thing. It does need something to sweeten it. I think if I would have done this with almond flour, it would have been better. I might eat it though. I don't have anything that, I did not have egg or anything. Maybe that would have helped with fluffing it up. For now, this will do. Just a little bit of milk. He wants blueberry muffins, so I'm just gonna go, but I'm gonna be strong and I will not get a muffin. I will show you guys all the muffins that there is. <laughs> I'm not gonna die, no, not having my fucking muffin. <laughs> The guy went to the back to find it. This is what he was craving. That's For your plan. video, I'm gonna pretend that I'm only gonna eat half of it, and then when Show you stop me. recording, I'm gonna eat the other. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Straight up my kryptonite right here. That's not very good. You guys are gonna get to see the very first bite. After 21 days, I haven't <laughs> had fucking bread. You but he wasn't me? doing Whole30. 
He was just trying to be healthier. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. 20 days without bread, are you kidding me? Fuck that. Would have gotten that double chocolate. That would have been tempting, the little nuts on top. Look, all you Whole30 people that are trying to do this, you're not going to do it forever. So we were watching videos of people doing the Whole30 and we would be like, look, look at this girl. She's like cheating. <laughs> we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into. <laughs> this ain't for the week, yo. And I'm not even doing Whole30. I was just trying to be good. I'm not going to. I'm going to eat this whole freaking bread. I'm going to eat all of it. I'm mm. you I, I am. <laughs> I so am. Oh, That's such a movie! <laughs>